to give a special shout out to Nocal for the food for providing us with great food this afternoon. And of course, Joe's Brew as well for the drinks. If there's one thing that I know about Nocal is that they have super bumpers. Yes. And drinks as well. So pick your poison. Sick. Okay, so eat. <laughs> Nocal delivers. You can place your orders and they can deliver right at your doorstep. Just make sure that you popping out of the screen, we have the details of Nocal and Joe's Brew as well. Of course, special shout out to Kampai for having us here today. I just want to make it like as laid back, like just enjoy your burger, enjoy your beers. Um, we spoke to Nix, Tolo, and Rami earlier. And now, uh, speaking individual, as individual members of the Very Done crew, Yurik, like you've done more than just being a DJ. And you more than just becoming DJ Yurik. Like, I do know that you are one of the veterans of game nights. Like we all know you. You're the old. You're, no, not the man, veteran, but like you know, you're like, you're the you're the game master, and we all know that. Like when it's DJ Eric, it's DJ Eric and game night master. Like, tell me more about like how you started even doing that. When I started going out, they were basically my um, kuyas. They were like 27, 28. They were already partying hard and whatever. And then I was like. 19 started DJing. They're like, oh, come hang out with us. Yeah. And then I started hanging out with them. And then I remember 2008, one time, they always find a way to hang out. They always find a way to, like, even on the off nights. Yeah. So on a, I think on a Tuesday night, they found this, like, um, trivia night in this spot called uh, 121. Okay. It's like a restaurant, mm -hmm. grill, whatever. Yeah. And then they found a trivia night thing. And then we all went. And then it was literally like, Geography, mathematics, and we and super career. Like we were, we were getting so competitive. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like days before, we're already, we're already like studying, studying, studying like the Guinness <laughs> World back, Record. I swear, it, yeah, it was serious. So after that, it's like it's just the geek in me, I guess. It's like you always, you also own. Oh, uh, puzzles. Puzzles. Yeah, puzzles. It's, it's closed now. Okay. Of, but like you know, that that also goes to show that. You've always loved playing oh, yeah, games, yeah. board games. It's so, like even even drinking. Yeah. But when, when people are like just drinking, I'll be like, guys, let's play a game. Do something. Let's yeah. Something. Always like, something. Extra 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 I, just, I just like playing games. Yeah. Ma mainly because I like winning. Okay. <laughs> you know, so I, I, I like beating everyone. Okay. So after a time, beating everyone, it's like. Oh, it's not fun anymore. Yeah, so I, so I'm I used to it. so I want to be the game master. Right, exactly. I want to be the one. Yeah, that... I want to be the one like directing everything. So that started there, and then we, and then our our group was like, dude, let's do it for music. Okay. And then we did it in in Attica. I don't know who knows what Attica, Attica is, dude. <laughs> probably like eighty percent of the viewers probably would not know what Attica is. Right. But started there, and then moved on to Arakama, Arakama. and then. We did Big Bad Wolf for a while, and then we moved on to Pool Club, and then we did. Uh, is it Bell? Yeah, Bell yeah, and Dragon. Bell now. and Dragon. Bell and Dragon. So yeah, it's, it's it's basically like me getting bored of just just the normal party because like exactly. us, we're super busy. We do. I I spend maybe like five nights a week, uh -huh. and then five nights is the same. Thing. It's just going out, You're DJ, just so party, used just to like, it, oh, yeah. Just, I just want to do something else. Exactly. And then, and then, something before partying, because the yeah, game yeah. nights usually happen and, and like, like, around like 9. With, and like with game nights, it's... I don't even DJ. Yeah. I, 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 let, I let Jazz DJ. It's also like a break away from yeah, what you're usually yeah, doing. Yeah, I let Seamart DJ. Shout out Seamart. Shout out Seamart. <laughs> yeah, so like, I let them DJ and I host. Right. Because like, like me, I like talking shit, exactly. you know that. <laughs> exactly. It's, it's natural. Exactly. So it's it's it's, a, it's another way for me to like kind of practice another like scale or yeah. just have fun with it. Like and also just basically, hosting. Yeah. I guess also like one thing I know about Yuri is that he's always been that guy too. He loves getting people together, gathering people at parties, no matter what it is. Like that's what I know. I've always known you for, and I guess like it's always worked out well for you. Like what is like apart from doing something different it's from your schedule and not DJing and hosting like what makes you feel alive like when you actually gather people together you, you know like uh, one of my friends pointed it out before uh, shout out to Archie Jadina Chi 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 Monster yeah he, I remember we had this we had this conversation in 71 Gramercy before like a, 
like before the yes. b- before um the party was live and whatever we were having dinner and he was like you know what you really are dude it's like you're a good dj you know but you know what you really are you're you're a he, he, he sort of told me that i was like a i i make parties basically right i i'm i'm kind of like i throw good parties yes you attract that kind it, of it's, it's like my, my, my main skill yeah. okay i know how to dj yes but my main skill he pointed out was like i know how to throw good parties Correct. which i was like huh that's true because like djing for me it's like i'm not like i'm not like nicks and these guys who like they scratch Super, and everything like, I'm, so on, I'm like all right so I'll, just, yeah. I'll just show up and then like spin i mean i'm, I'm just happy like Course. No one's complained so far. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? You know, I mean, not one time I MC I mean, for you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if if DJ if DJ had the up reviews, five yeah. stars. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah. But like, but like, I I remember like realizing that I was like, yeah, I enjoy like conceptualizing parties. That's exactly. why I have the game night Correct. and I I have this guy and everything. I used to for me it's sort of like a oh, encompassing thing. I like. The whole vibe of it, exactly. not just Putting not just the art of DJing. Like, I love DJing, but I like inviting people. I like get, meeting new people. I like you know like seeing like, everyone like have fun. Being able to like tap into different crowds also. Yeah, it's just, it's just the whole vibe of it, the whole party. Like I like partying. Exactly, and I think like it's also so integral for a DJ to have. I mean, apart from oh that, yeah, dude, it's like you could be the best DJ, you could be this, but like some DJs that I've actually emceed for, it's like DJ after the set they leave. Yup. So there's no interaction. There's no like getting to know people, and I think anybody could agree that we enjoy and we get to know each other so much more when we're oh at yeah, party. for sure, for sure. You know, a more let loose uh, situation scenario, and I guess like. It's super important to have, like, to be able to bring in the people to the party apart from being the DJ. It's like sometimes I have, like, Jazz and them know this. Like sometimes I get, I kind of get carried away, like, talking yeah. to people. I'll be like, can someone just do my set? Let's do this. <laughs> this too, I invite, I'm, like, I'm, I I'm, 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 too, invite I'm already to too drunk. Yeah, and then yeah, like, yeah. I'm talking to so many girls. So I mean, and guys also. Like, <laughs> yeah. No, but that's also the that's also the thing of Yurik. Like in all the parties, I'm like a fucking in, all, in all the in all the parties that we've had together, Which the bitch? he's the guy that brings in the most girls. Like, and that I guess it's also because like uh, they feel more comfortable with and, you because and you, and you know what's, are more you know you know it's kind of messed light up. Energy. It, it's 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 funny but kind of messed up in a way. It's like. Jazz and them know this. Like when I when I come to Noka, for example, and then I'm I'm in a I'm not in a drinking mood. Everyone just complains why Yurik's not drinking. Why? Yeah, I what? get that. It's like why, why, why? why? So it's many like, times, I, I'm, I, and I'm always like, Yurik, are you okay? What's wrong? Yeah, like, what's wrong? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's like you know, it's like we're it's, used to seeing you in that kind of element, you know. Right, you're used to seeing me standing <laughs> yeah. on the couches and everything, yeah. and going wild on the mic, like calling people out and everything. Yeah. It's like. It's a, it's kind of a curse. When, You're when, blessing and a curse. Yeah, it's like because like when people see me, they're like, oh shit, it's gonna be a lit party because Yurik's here. But like when I'm not <laughs> in a lit mood, exactly. everyone's like, oh, that. we want you to be on this level. But like yeah. you know, kind of like coming from just my solo career, yeah, and then moving on to like very done and everything. I I for me at least I like it because. I remember I would throw the parties, but then I'm still super like, no, the, the set has to be good, so yeah. I have to spin. Exactly. I have to spin. Yeah, yeah. Set has, the music has to be good. I, I control everything. So now, with so now it's like I trust these guys. Yeah, like, exactly. That, that's, that's why I'm You're kind not of worried. Like, I'm not the worried. It's not gonna be. A, I'm not worried. Yet. Or it's not gonna be a good vibe. And like like you said, DJing it's like an ego thing. Whatever you're the you're the you're the star or whatever. And before it's like, oh, I want to DJ because I want to be the star. Right. But like now it's like. I'll let you guys DJ. I, exactly. I, I, I can network, I can like communicate yeah. with people, and like talk to people and have fun. Exactly. And now there, there's like no ego right now. It's like when every, for example, Jazz is killing his set, I'm like, ooh, that's sick. Super I, support. I, yeah. I, I, I don't have a feeling of like, oh, oh no, it's gonna. No, I get mean? it. I get it. It's like we've had some parties that you um, invite a DJ and then they mess up a little bit. You're like, oh man, I, I wish I shouldn't have, you know, I mean, this, yeah. these things. And I guess like with Very Done, you're at peace. No. Yeah, for sure. Like, no matter I, what happens, like, I trust they them. know what to do. They know what to do. Yeah. Like, you How don't to need to coach and everything. So yeah, in, in most of my materials now, like like posters and stuff, yeah. I drop the DJ 
name. Yeah, yeah. It's just you're it now. It's weird now. Cause okay. it's like because it's just, no, because it's also like it's, th there's just more to you than just DJ. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like now, I do know that you are starting your podcast, and you've also invested a lot of like your um gear. Yep, yep, since yep, the start yep. of the like, COVID, like when that happened, you right, went on like right, I'm gonna do there. this and I'm yeah. gonna do that. Like it's super great because you you already know that you know just kind of accept the situation for now. So like, tell us more about like your goals and like what's gonna what 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 does. DJ Yurik Habits for It's my thoughts. And it, it's more like there's so much noise online right now. Super. So much noise. So everyone's much negativity like, everyone's as just well. trying to scream That's all of, true. over each other. Like and what what happens is like, okay, someone posts something political and then doesn't agree with this person. What what happens is it's just, a, wins. it's just a yeah, it's just Nobody an echo wins. chamber. The people who agree with this side are gonna comment, oh blah blah exactly. blah blah blah. Yeah, do it, do it, do it. But then there's another side that you also have to kind of consider because it's never black and white. Of course. You know, it's never black and white. And then this this guy's like shouting his opinions and then everyone who agrees with him just comments on his stuff, like, oh yeah, 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 blah blah blah. Yeah. So I, I think my the direction I'm going with that, uh, yeah. with my podcast at least. It's kind of like okay, these are my thoughts. I'm open to your right. to your um, to your interpretation of whatever. Anything but at else. the same time, dude, just I'm having fun. fun. <laughs> yeah, dude, I'm, these are my thoughts, and I don't take anything seriously. Yeah. I'm just gonna basically, you know, make fun of everything. Exactly. That's, that's basic. Because it's kind of like um, break the ice. Yeah, because like at, at the end of the day, dude, like you can only change your reaction to things. <laughs> And I choose to keep it light. Yeah, keep it light. Yeah, Have fun. Light. I mean, I'm not saying like uh, belittle the yeah, issues or course. whatever. We, we, we can talk about it and everything, but it's it's more like you don't have to fight each other. Exactly. You don't have to lose friendships over exactly. over your opinions. It's yeah. like it's like I can believe I can believe in Buddha. You can believe in Jesus Christ. You can yeah. you can believe in but whatever yeah. you want to yeah. believe, dude. Totally. At the end of the day, it's like, does that make you a bad person if you're if you're Muslim or not? No, dude. See that that's what people like think. It's like it's either my way or, or the highway. Yeah. It's like no, it's not. It's not as simple as that. That's why for me, it's like you have to look past that. There's always nuance. There's always like other details that you don't consider. Of course. You know. So for me, the best the best way to bring people together is just like just have fun. Yeah. Comedy, like you know, laugh at exactly. things. Exactly. And if you if you're that, if you're one of those woke people who just want to fight everyone and virtue signal and yes. show people that oh I'm I'm on a higher level of thinking than you because I'm so woke. Okay, yeah, exactly. go go be woke exactly. over there. I mean, you don't have to listen to me. You don't, you don't have to follow me. You can unfollow me anytime. Dude. Yeah, you know I actually have like this one friend that she's been posting a lot about like these you know issues and everything that's been going on, but then I. So on Instagram, and then I see on Twitter, just just yesterday she posted, you know, honestly, I don't know what to do anymore. My mind is just so filled with this and that. But because it's also you allow yourself, yeah, dude, to immerse in that kind of mindset. Like you are mad, I understand that. But it's like if that's all you're thinking and you don't allow yourself to kind of step out into the into the light, it's like that will really eat you up, no matter yes, what. So like, I guess like what what people don't understand is like. It's okay to be mad at certain issues. Yeah. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay to like um, take a stand. It's good, okay. but don't get consumed by it. Or like, also you have to think people are different. People, pe people don't don't have to agree with you. You guys don't have to agree for you guys to respect each other as human beings. Right. You know. So it's more like, dude, if you believe in wh whoever political party you support, if you're DDS or you're like you're your Dilawan or whatever, whatever yeah. you call each other. Like at the end of the day, does that matter when we're like here talking and having fun exactly. and like we're, we have the same jokes and exactly. everything? It, yeah. No, it's not. Does, does that like make you a bad person because you support this, support that? Unless you're really racist, dude. Yeah. <laughs> unless, unless, you're, unless, you're, unless you're a fucking psycho yeah. and like you just don't care about human life. Yes. But like, you know, at the yeah. end of the day, there, there's so many things. It's like, it's a shit show right now, and the only thing you could really, really immediately like change or like have an effect on is the way you react to things. You can choose to be scared. You can choose to be mad. You can choose to.
take a break from everything. Social media is like, this is not good for me. Exactly. I'm getting depressed. Because it a is. Break. Like, you know, like yeah, a lot of people It's fucking depressing really, right now. It really is. Like, the moment you wake up, this bad news after bad news after dude, bad it's, news. It's so it's bad, almost, dude. It's almost it started like, with, you can't even catch up anymore. What, what, was, what was first? The fires? The Australia yes, fires? Yes, yes. That was first. And then COVID. There's so many. There's and just so then, many. Oh, no, no, no. Earthquake. Yeah. You forgot about the earthquake. There was an earthquake, right? And then COVID. COVID. And then now it's like well, um, explosions. And yeah, the yeah. Al. We yeah. forgot about the Al too. The Al. Dude, so and many. then there's so that. Many. And then there's COVID. And then there's, there's now the rallies in the US. Exactly. It's just. Come on. You, it's, it's, almost, it's, it's almost impossible for you yep. not to feel negative when you spend at least 10 minutes looking at that it's like you know i mean it, like what like what you said like there's really nothing wrong with it of course like you know feel what you have to feel but like what worries me is just that a lot of these people don't know what it's actually doing to them yep. themselves mentally and considering that we're in lockdown as well it's like you can't even see your friends to voice that out like this is all in your head you're all alone thinking of these things and it's bad and i think that with what with what you're planning to do with your podcast and being that kind of light as well as as well as the show it's like we're stepping out of that to kind of just remind people hey take a take a breather like let's just let's just take a break and just laugh about something like, I'm, like, like we're not yeah. saying we're not saying be apathetic we're not saying don't, yes. don't like, we're not saying forget about yes. the issues but we're saying relax dude also. relax yeah. Relax. Yeah. I'm super excited for the podcast that you've right, been doing. Right now, I'm just, I'm just really kind of writing, yeah. like writing what, my, the, the topics yeah, and yeah, like yeah. whatever. And I'm kind of weighing how hard I want to go. Okay, okay, yeah. <laughs> do I, I want to get canceled lot, on my first lot. episode? <laughs> <laughs> or do you want to? Or do I? Yeah. But then again, it's like if I if I pander to my yeah, to, to an audience, also. it's like. What's, why would why would you watch me if I'm just gonna exactly. like? Oh, that's yeah. not DJ. Right? Yeah, <laughs> right. And what you know? Yeah, exactly. What you said. It's not DJ. Because like I also recently watched you during the lockdown. Everybody's like growing out their hair and like ah, everybody needs a haircut. Everybody needs this and that. Like all the things that we can't act, don't have access to right now. And you were one of the people that actually. Trying to cut his own hair. <laughs> yeah, dude. How was almost, that like? Almost like, unsuccessfully, but no. Right? But, but you know, but, so, <laughs> but you know, DJ here. I mean, so, but, you, but know. you know, here comes out on top always. <laughs> no, of course it's long now. Okay, it's yeah. like been a month since right. since that. So, like, but like, how was that like? People kind of waiting for you to mess up your hair. <laughs> like, how how was that like? How did you? you know, it's, it, I love my friends. Yeah. Right? And I, I really think I really think you know who your real friends are when when they're like make they, fun of you. Yeah, also. yeah, exactly. Yeah. So so it I, I guess the idea started with my sh morning shout outs. Okay, yeah. You know? Okay, for the people that don't know, <laughs> DJ Yurik's morning shout outs only happen between six a.m. to nine a.m. This all happens like after a night out or work yep. at a at a gig, and he it's, always it's a has, sign that it's a legendary. Yes. Party. When a lot of happens. and also a lot so he does that and then it's usually on the way home that shouting out all the people that he saw the night before or what he did the night before occasionally with a shades filter with a shades <laughs> filter given because like you know morning light and um a lot of people have actually like been asking you hey can you shout me out like yeah. you know a lot a lot yeah yeah i i got it once i got it once <laughs> And, I was worthy one time. And then I, I just feel like it, it, it goes hand in hand with like with the podcast, with with what with, with me like cutting yeah. my hair online. It's like yeah. I just do what's natural. It's yeah. never it's never like gonna be oh I plan to do this. I plan to do it's yeah. it's like I just want Something you to see me being me. Yeah. And then I just, I just felt like okay, there's a high chance of me like messing my hair up. Right, right. And I'm pretty sure my friends would want to see it. See it. <laughs> so, so True I was enough. like, I was like, all right, it's time to test my stream. Okay. So I was like, all right, cutting my hair tonight. If you want to see me mess up, tune in. Right. Which took you how long? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's not like, easy to cut hair up, yeah, especially like, like when you can't do it for the first time. If, if a pro's doing it, 30 minutes, know. you're good. Right. Dude, I, it, it took me two hours <laughs> on the stream to, to, to just get it. Yeah, super close to decent. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then another hour fixing it after right, the stream. Right, right. 
I, I was gonna be like, I don't need a barber. I do need a barber. <laughs> it's, it's hard. Like, how is the response of this? I, dude, of it's, the people, your friends. It's, that, it's like, super funny. Like, yeah. you can see, you can see, um, your closest friends are like, mess it up, mess it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> shave it off, just shave it off. Yeah. Like, some some people are like, oh, it looks so nice. It looks so nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and then like the viewership when it's when it started, it was like. 60, 70. Everybody's waiting for me. And then everyone's like, just waiting for me. And then I yeah. did my first cut. Everyone's like, oh my god, oh my god, he did it, he did it. And then the moment it started looking good, yeah. Like Kim, Kim Francisco, yeah. Like, shout out Kim. Kim was like, I, I'm good then, huh? But do you know? <laughs> so that's when. <laughs> yeah, do it. And then, and then, that's when they and then the viewers started <laughs> dropping. The, the moment it started looking good, I was like, all right, I guess, yeah. I guess, I guess y'all are not gonna watch me look good. Look good. <laughs> because you already a, know how you not, look. Not, you not look as good. entertaining. So yeah, yeah. tune in, tune in next time when that's I try so to mess funny. my hair up again. That's crazy. I, you're gonna be doing the podcast soon and everything. More of you online, I guess. That's how we you can uh, see you more. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. like. From day one of the of the pandemic, the moment like it hit me that oh we're not gonna go okay. out. This is it. I was like I already switched like my my um, your mindset. Yeah, my mindset. It's like yeah, okay, I'm not gonna be DJing. And then then while everyone, like, I mean I'm not knocking knocking it. Okay. I'm not knocking like what everyone d- did like uh, live sets. I even did the live set yeah. myself. But like yeah. all of a sudden, all the DJs started, uh, doing, started doing live sets. Yeah. For me, I already knew that it's not a hundred percent about the set. It's it was never a hundred percent about the DJ. That's true. It made it's me appreciate. It made me appreciate the crowd more. Exactly. That's why from now on, it's like at least I'm I'm speaking for myself, yeah. right? From now on, I'm never gonna I'm never gonna take the crowd for granted. Where it's like, oh, can I get a request or whatever? Or yeah. like, it's because it's a symbiotic relationship. Exactly. The set would suck if no one's there. Of course, it's not the same. It's really not the you same. know, like I, I feel like a lot of DJs, a lot of DJs, um, forget what their purpose is. It's like you're there to make people dance. Exactly. Some some people are like, no, you're here to listen to me. Yeah. I get it. Yeah. I get it. But like for me, it's like I, I get uh, more of a reward, a rewarding feeling seeing from the seeing the, seeing them dance. That's it's why true. for me, it's like I, I don't care. I play anything, yeah. and you know, I will play anything. Yes, yeah. <laughs> anything to make them dance. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, 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 what nightlife is? I just want to have fun. Exactly. Like, at the end of the day, I exactly. want to have a fun party. Yeah. So like when 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 the pandemic started, I was like, oh damn it. And then everyone's doing DJ sets. I'm like, I'm not gonna not do a DJ set. It's not right. the same. Yeah. It's not the same. It's like I'm just I was kind of like fooling myself. Yeah. It's not it's not the same. So what I did was like before the pandemic started, I was already thinking I want to start a podcast. Yeah. And then like like what Nick said earlier, it's kind of like a blessing in disguise. It's like a forced. Forced vacation, yes. Yes. forced it's break, you know, like reset. so. So now, like now, like we're we're trying things that we never had the time to try. That's true, or actually never yeah. allowed ourselves. Yeah, to, yeah, yeah. Because uh, my my excuse, time my excuse for the longest time was like I've always wanted to like try producing, start a podcast. It's like oh, I'm so busy because like I'll get drunk and then I'll, I'll get old, I wake up, I'm tired, and then have to work again. But now, now it's like you have no excuse, have dude. So much time. You wake up and then it's there. Absolutely. What, what are you just gonna do? What are you gonna you do to, with your time? Yeah, just kind of like waiting for you to start. You know. Yeah. So I think so, that's the really great thing about like. And then jazz, situation. jazz, Making jazz, jazz, jazz was the first one who was like, "All right, I'm gonna start producing." And then, and then he started like sharing on our group. He downloaded Serato Studio, yeah, and yeah. we're all like, "Is it easy? Is it easy?" Yeah, yeah. And then like the. The next day, all of us downloaded it, and then, and, then, like, and then like three days later, we're sharing our like our tracks. It's like also, if one person just started to learn it today and he got it the next day, like shit. Why yeah, not, yeah. Why I, I mean, it? we're not saying we're experts. Of anything, course, but, like, but it's really just it, it's fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the only thing you can really control is how you react to things. So will the pandemic Shoot beat you? Down. you? Yeah. Are exactly. you gonna stay at home exactly. scared and then like and like feel sorry for yourself because like you don't have a job anymore? I mean, I'm not. Yeah. I'm not saying, dude. I'm I'm coming from a a position of privilege because like I'm not I yeah. don't have to like work to eat. Exactly. But I'm not belittling every everyone's problems. But you know, what I'm saying is like for people for me, I guess it's like I'm stuck for myself. Do I let the pandemic depress me? Is like, or or do I take that energy, that negative energy Fuel. of like yeah of like I'm pretty sure like all of us have been like yo. Where am I gonna get my paycheck for the next yeah. three months or whatever? Yeah. And like we have stuff to pay for, car payments, like rent or whatever. 
all that phone bills. Yeah. So it's like, where am I gonna get the income for the next? I I just took that negative energy and directed it somewhere. Right. So like the so the, that panic, I was like, okay, let's use this. What what can I do exactly. now? What can I do now? Exactly. Panic bought a PC. Like yeah. a whole setup. Like right? I have so, like like two monitor, like I whatever. Think... And it started buying lighting, started buying a camera and everything. Totally. So it's like you, do you adapt or do you die? Exactly. It's actually almost crazy how fear has to be that kind of push. Yeah. Because that's how I felt like at the start of the pandemic. Like wow, I know, I know, like, I know you were You know, you, you, you were, know, like I'm like you're like, I admit to being to pushing. Like, yo, come on, like let's do something, let's do something. But I there's a point. The point was the nightlife is not coming back soon. It's you know what it is, it's what? acceptance. Yeah, it's acceptance. It's accepting. Okay, this is the situation. Exactly. Um, Reality. You're, the, accepting that okay this is the situation you're not gonna come up with a vaccine no <laughs> not, exactly. you know it's not you who's gonna come up with this cure yeah so what can you do for yourself at least for yourself na lang. like the, so shout out to everyone yeah. like baking and totally. selling and like everybody just and, like and, and, coming out of I'm their super, I'm super shell, laughing you know? at I'm super laughing at the COVID trends yeah the, the COVID hype yeah, yeah. hype foods yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's so funny how each week had like a trend. No, so there was the Dalgona. It's not Dalgona. 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 There was that cinnamon bun. People making coffee. Ah, uh, co cookies. And then and then ube cheese pan ube pizza. Cheese pan and then now we're now we're in a sushi bake yes. bake. <laughs> and, and but before that, people were also cutting their hair. <laughs> you know, there's a week that everybody's literally cutting their it's, hair. You know, so it's, it's super like, funny. It's, it's like, funny because like it's an organic trend. Yeah. That nobody had before. It just kind of. So for me, I'm like you know, like. Props Super. to those. Props to those who Absolutely. find ways to keep busy or like what you know. It's not get Absolutely. defeated by it because like it's a, it's a tough time, and I know people are going through a lot. And for me, it's like, dude, shout out, shout out to you. You're, yeah, you're, just that extra effort you do for yourself. Sell cookies, sell cakes, sell whatever. Yeah. Just do something. Yeah. Right. Because I I I feel like humans are built. To have purpose, hey, to keep creating, yeah, to keep well, doing things. That's why, that's learning. why, that's why I feel like when life is too good, like you, you find problems to, to tackle. Yeah. That's why, for example, in in in, in the, in the U.S. where it's a, the first world, the first the first world country, it started giving rise to people who are ultra woke. Mm. It's because their life is their life is super like cushy. They don't have to like worry about hunger or yeah. anything. That's why. Their life is good, yeah. so they're looking for adversity in their life. Exactly. I, I feel like here in the Philippines, it's like, oh, dude, we're, we have no time. We have no time to to be ultra woke. Yeah, no, yeah. I guess I guess now people are getting super woke because like yes. the economy is getting better. Exactly. But you know, exactly. I, I I remember like growing up in a time where being sad is just just a new sad, dude. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's just you sad. Now it's like, oh, it's depression. It's exactly. Blah, blah, blah. There's more to it than just that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So so I feel like. This this pandemic has taught me that you need purpose in your life, or else you go crazy. Exactly. Just to you do know? something for yourself. Yeah, right? dude, it's like keep your mind busy. So whatever it is, like, and I think that that will never happen if you don't start somewhere. Yep. At all. Dude, start something. It's start like something. you don't know how to bake cool. Learn how to DJ, dude. Yeah, because like it's funny because like a lot of people are starting to do things that they've never done before. They've been like uh, benefiting from it, so I think it's really more like. Oh, yeah, so an extra fun. shout out to everyone who who started making PPEs, oh, yeah. face totally. masks, yeah, the dating that dude. Have done that. Like a lot of these local designers have also started making their own um, PPEs and face masks to donate and to just become part of the dude. Movement, like, you know? give give me give me like a couple of months to get bored of my podcast. You'll start making. <laughs> you'll start making I'll, I'll start trying to sew. So. <laughs> I won't wait for that. <laughs> you should have it on your podcast. We're all looking forward to you doing more crazier shit. Like I can't wait. But I don't know what other other things like people would be interested to watch you do because like you know. I guess it's a it's an experiment of like when will DJ year get canceled? Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, but still, even if, even when you do, it's still gonna become something. That's I think that's the really that's care. the beauty of like DJ really year. It was jazz. Um, before very done, you were you are you are of course the founder director and the choreographer of the dance crew element mm -hmm. like i know that like any form of entertainment right now has been put to put to put a hold yeah but 
like how has that like how have you been able to mix that up as being a DJ as well as solo like but you you're a coach you're a mentor you're somebody that people look up to like you teach a lot of these younger kids to be better at what they do and everything so how is that lifestyle how does it work well with you as being a DJ as well and of course with the pandemic like how are you moving forward it works hand in hand in just simply being a creative yeah um, one of the biggest things I always prioritize when I DJ and when I create routines is flow right so that's it's I think it's something natural with me that's the one thing I always try to focus on so it's something that I try to find in dance that I try to do. Take it to the, take it take to, the music. To, yeah, when I DJ, if I were dancing, how would I do this? Right. If I were dancing and trying to come up with a piece. What do you want to hear? How do I want to feel? Yeah. Where, where, do, where do I want this piece to take me? What kind of journey? Yeah. All, it always has that journey. It always has that. Um, Story to tell. Yeah, yeah. You know, it goes up, goes down. I kind of take from both sides to feed into the other. Correct. Right. Um, so in that sense, uh, just just that natural creativity and trying to find a good flow, creating a piece yes. and creating a set yeah. or a mixtape or so like with so like with element like I'm sure a lot of these kids are like coach what's happening what are we gonna yeah. do when are we gonna dance next like when are we gonna move you know these are things that a lot of kids are also worried about because they don't know what to yeah. do especially now that they're not going to school and it's a uh, very thin line between like learning so like how are you how do you coach them with this situation like you know what do you advise them to do i've always been a guy that puts a lot of himself into, into the things i do yeah and it goes with my students too yeah um i have good relationships with a lot of them outside of the people Correct. so right now it's more of trying to adapt, trying to see, because the team is made up of people from different walks of life. Yeah. So it's not a general inquiry, how you, how are you doing? Because some people might be coping better than others. Of course, it is, like, on process. Like how, like how yeah. everything is in general. But like looking at it from this specific point of view, in this specific um, community uh, in the team, it's just making sure, at this point, it's just making sure that everyone's good everyone's families are good yes making sure that to some extent they're still able to retain in a dance sense i guess yeah. retain that what they've learned yeah what they've learned yeah. it's hard because we were we were in the middle of preparing for hip-hop international yeah i know you told me earlier so, that you were supposed to enter the qualifiers for the hip-hop international and that's such a big blow especially yeah. with, with when, kids. when was it supposed to be yeah. The Philippine qualifiers are supposed to be in May, okay. and then the Worlds are supposed to be in August. Which you've already been practicing, you've already been training yeah. from the start of the year. From the start of the year. Okay, yeah, so you were supposed to do that, and like... And then hard stop. Yeah. So, for a lot of the, especially for the ones who are doing it for the first time, yeah. um, I kind of felt for them, because of some of us did it back in 2018. I've already experienced yeah. that. So it was a different mindset for some of us who have been there, uh, try to prepare it in a certain way versus the thrill of preparing for the first time for those who oh, yeah. weren't there. Oh, oh man. So, so it's kind of a balance, trying to balance out that we have to understand what's, that, what's going on, but yeah. at the same time, understanding what they might be feeling, uh, missing out on an opportunity. Well, hopefully just for now. For sure, but, like there's no doubt in my mind that you know. Imagine that next gig. Yeah. <sighs> Can you imagine? Like, it's always, it's always a, gig? it's always a, in the group chat. It's always jokes about when we can train. Yeah, yeah. How we can be socially responsible and have right. social distancing and yes, rehearsals. Yes. Rent like a whole football field to block. If you can, if you can, right? I mean, you know I, mean? I think that eventually, will everybody will really start finding a way yeah. to kind of make it work. But you know? like, it's hard. Like, what I'm trying to encourage them to do right now is focus on themselves individually. The Correct. Their online classes, there, those creations can feed into making sure that the talent 
is being owned, right. whatever. It's it's great actually seeing a lot of people who haven't danced for a while. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, exactly. Like I have a couple of friends that were dancers have done multiple things like have changed like career paths and everything but i see them dancing now they're taking online classes and which is so good because it's like it kind of like brings them back yeah. to their roots right so yeah with with other things that i know that you've been doing a lot of like your online gigs and you've l been learning a lot about like technology now <laughs> like you said that you were the guy the first guy in the group that started the really get into that technology zone so like how is that like you know you even taught me how to use that OBS in one in a couple of hours so like how does it like how does it benefit you for me it's just about getting as much info as you can okay and just being prepared to adapt and to adjust because keeping up just being real we don't know when this whole thing is gonna end so I guess the best thing you get my mindset is there's no rush to do everything yes but Every chance you can get to get new info and to learn something new and to try something new, take it. Because it's, it's, all yeah, it's, all it's all there. It's all available now. Yeah. You know, the internet's like I anything. mean, shout out to everyone who's like posting all of these workout videos every day and yeah. and really grinding themselves. Yeah. But like, there's a shout out to everyone who's not. Exactly. Also, because again, like you guys have been saying, there's different ways we cope with things. Yes. So my personal uh, mindset there is go with the flow, and everything, every opportunity that comes your way to introduce new information to your system, yeah. do it. Um, it's true. Every Sorry chance you can try to, yeah. you know, sneak in a workout every now and then. Go. Why not? Yeah. Um, learn how it's to always, uh... learn how to bring your work into the homes of everyone else yeah Do that's that. great man like i can't like i said like i really believe that once this is all over one way or another we're all gonna come back stronger yeah especially with the kind of mindset and we're so eager and we're so ready to bring it out because i learned this and like, you know there's so much things that we're taking in day by day and i think that when it's all over then it's gonna be like one huge banger you know that's why that's why i'm trying to always push to keep that keep my head above water yeah because when this and for sure this whole thing's gonna blow over and be done with you have to also be ready for that to come of course right of course so in a DJ sense you, you, you know, don't need a comeback if you never left oh. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just have a break yeah, right. <laughs> totally. but yeah, like man. yeah in, in both senses like there's a certain difference between dancing in a team and just that because see if you're just dancing you can do it on your own anything, you think anything but, but it's a different vibe to come together and create a routine and create a piece um create those relationships create those moments yeah it's another whole thing it's another different side of of that art yeah to do it with a bunch of other people okay. in one room in one studio learning from each learning other. from each other that's kind of the adjustment I'm trying to make now uh, uh, in the meantime and also just remembering when this goes over this is how we have to exactly. attack it it's always that you always have to have that plan right? yeah so shout out to everyone yeah, in man. element yeah Miss element shout out <laughs> speaking of shout out guys i know that we're not um wearing our face mask but we are practicing our proper social distancing as well as the whole crew um i do have like small gift from us to you guys like i have been able to gather a couple of locally designed facial Sick. masks by a couple of really cool um local brands that have made their way out of like you know looking good but still being safe so i have a couple of mask for you guys to choose from nice so i have from? this i have this from cuento monica concepcion um this one, uh, <laughs> this one is from ec this is from stacy oh, nice. and carlos del prado they've been exerting <laughs> a lot of kids. efforts for the frontliners oh, yeah, for this pandemic <laughs> like they've made their uh, ppe's they've made the face masks they've donated to a couple of um, organizations already and like this is actually really cool because it could be you, you could cut you could cut the yeah, thing. You, you yeah I saw cut, that on like, here so, so you guys could pick from this and this is also from 
This is also from Rafiki oh. Mono. So in Rafiki Mono, they so have good. like silk um, fashion. So that's just a small thing from us to you guys. Just Big practicing shout social out to everyone distancing and being space. safe. Yeah, man. Shout so, out to everyone. Period. I mean, everybody, yeah, actually, yeah. Shout everybody out to everyone. Everybody, everybody at all. Like all the all the people who are trying to create. Yes. All the, all the um, people. Everybody. Everyone. Same life, everyone adapting to every, everything that's happening. Yeah. And shout actually, out, being shout part out to of everyone. the movement. Everybody. Shout out to everybody. Shout out to everybody minus the racists. You yes. suck. <laughs> <laughs> you guys suck. We don't like racists. <laughs> we don't like racists. Okay, so of course, like. Shout out, of course, again to Kampai for having us, No Pal and Joe's Brew, as well as um, Phoenix for allowing us to get here, for the guys from the south to get here. Um, again, Kampai for such a wonderful time, and thank you, of course, Akimbo and Phoenix for getting us here, for uh, for uh, gassing us up to get here. Guys, like representing the Very Done crew, such a huge inspiration to many people in the nightlife industry to be better and to inspire people like I know that you guys are always moving forward and that's very done doing it crisp you know so again guys thank you so much Yuri of course of course Jazz yes. thank you so much on our show on the mic we allow our guests to be the star of it guys like plug so, in your stuff oh so it's Yurik on, on the mic, mic? it's Yurik on the mic <laughs> it's Yurik on the mic it's Jazz on the mic and it's very done too on the mic again shout out to everyone in the industry I know it's a hard time for everyone, but y'all are doing your thing. Live streams, mixes, uh, content, uh, respect to everybody. We're in this together, we'll bounce back. So follow us on social media, we're on Facebook, Instagram, Wait, Twitch, social media. <laughs> Twitch, <laughs> Twitch, yes, and Twitch. YouTube. Uh, okay. We'll be coming out with, and SoundCloud. Yeah, we're everywhere. Some of these, not exactly this, because this is limited edition. <laughs> <laughs> Which I forced them to give me. No, so it was the, a force. That was the, really for you. Being the extended that was really member for you. of Very Done. Um, again, guys, thank you so much for joining us in the show. Shout out to everyone going through the motions. You know, it sucks, it sucks, it sucks. But at the same time, if you choose to relax, if you choose to just watch Keeping Up with the Kardashians on Netflix, it's it's on Netflix now, by the way. <laughs> I don't know how I know that, but... <laughs> Come on. No, like, what? If, if, if you choose to just chill, uh, get fat, dude, get yeah. fat, dude, who cares? Just watch Netflix, whatever that's makes fine. You happy. What, whatever you know? like, keeps you sane, whatever makes you happy, now's the time to take care of yourself. If you choose to be an activist and like go on social media and do all that stuff, shout out to you too, you're doing a great job. And you know what? We're all in this together. It's all happening to all of us. No one is special. Do your job, be responsible. Don't make out with people. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Don't spit on people. <laughs> Don't share saliva or whatever. Don't, just, just keep social distancing. Um, try to flatten the curve. I know we keep saying that, but not a lot of people know what that means. There you go, Jazz. Thank you. See? Yeah, give me some of that. See? Give me some of that. <laughs> For being responsible. But like, yeah, we're all in this together. We're all going through the motions. And let's help each other. If you need someone to talk to, call your friends too. Totally. Uh, human, human interaction is such 100%. an underrated um, experience right now. Like honestly, me, um, before this whole thing, I'm like, oh, I don't want to go out anymore. I'm having anxiety. I'm but like, now, oh. but now it's here. like, yo, I, I want to go out again. But of course I'm not. Yes. You know? Of course I'm not. <laughs> Stay home, do my podcast. Shout out to my podcast. Shout out to my <laughs> When, when is it coming out? Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? When Who I'm knows? ready. Shout out to the crew. Arsenal. Yeah, Arsenal content. Thank you so much. Yeah. Guys. Support everyone. Support this show. Support our shows whenever it's going to come out. Thank you so much for joining us for the very first episode with my brothers presenting the Very Done Crew. Yes, sir. This is On The Mic. Stay safe. Stay clean. And just always have that positive album. That, that be that light. Find that light out of the darkness. Yes, sir. So peace out, Dave. That's how we do it, that's how we do it, that's how we do it.